Joan Jett, born Joan Marie Larkin, September 22, 1958, is an American rock singer, songwriter, composer, musician, record producer, and occasional actress. Jett is best known for her work as the frontwoman of her band, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and for earlier founding and performing with the Runaways, which recorded and released the hit song Cherry Bomb. The Blackhearts version of the song I Love Rock and Roll was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks in 1982. Jet's other notable hit songs include Bad Reputation, Crimson and Clover, Do You Wanna Touch Me, Oh Yeah, Light of Day, I Hate Myself for Loving You, and Dirty Deeds. Jet has a mezzo-soprano vocal range. She has three albums that have been certified platinum or gold, and has been a feminist icon throughout her career. She has been described as the queen of rock and roll and the godmother of punk. In 2015, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jett lived in Long Beach, New York since the late 1970s before moving to Rockville Center, New York. Topic: Early life. Joan Marie Larkin was born on September 22, 1958, to James Larkin and Dorothy Jett Larkin, at Lankanau Hospital in Wynwood, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia although some sources list her birth date as September 22, 1960. She is the eldest of three children. Her father was an insurance salesman and her mother a secretary. Her family was Protestant and attended church but not particularly religious. In 1967, her family moved to Rockville, Maryland, where she attended Randolph Junior High and Wheaton High School. Jet got her first guitar at the age of 14. She took some guitar lessons, but soon quit because the instructor kept trying to teach her folk songs. Her family then moved to West Covina, California, in Los Angeles County, providing Jet the opportunity to pursue her musical endeavors. Shortly after the move, her parents divorced and she changed her name to Joan Jett, taking her mother's maiden name as her professional and legal name. In Los Angeles, Jett's favorite night spot was Rodney Bingenheimer's English Disco, a venue that provided the glam rock style she loved. Topic. Career Topic. The Runaways Jet became a founding member of The Runaways, alongside drummer Sandy West. Jackie Fox, Lita Ford and Cherie Curry soon joined up to complete the band, creating the classic lineup. While Curry initially fronted the band, Jet shared some lead vocals, played rhythm guitar and wrote or co-wrote a lot of the band's material along with Ford, West and Curry. The band recorded five albums, with Live in Japan becoming one of the biggest selling imports in US and UK history. The band toured around the world and became an opening act for Cheap Trick, Ramones, Van Halen and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. They found success abroad, especially in Japan. While touring England with the Runaways in 1976, Jet first heard the song, I Love Rock and Roll. When she saw Arrows perform it on their weekly UK television series Arrows. In 2010, The Runaways, a movie about Jet's band, was released, starring Kristen Stewart as Jet and Dakota Fanning as Curry. While The Runaways were popular in Europe, Asia, Australia, Canada, and South America, they could not garner the same level of success in the US. After Curry left the band, the band released two more albums with Jet handling the lead vocals, Waitin' for the Night and And Now. The Runaways. Altogether, they produced five albums from 1975 until they disbanded in the spring of 1979. Soon afterward, Jet produced the Germs' only album, G.I. Solo career In 1979, Jet was in England pursuing a solo career. She recorded three songs there with the Sex Pistols Paul Cook and Steve Jones, one of which was an early version of Arrow's I Love Rock and Roll. 
This version appears on the 1993 compilation album Flashback. Later that year, she returned to Los Angeles, where she began fulfilling an obligation of the Runaways to complete a film which was loosely based on the band's career entitled We're All Crazy Now. Three actresses stood in for the departed band members, including Rainbow Smith, who was also a rock drummer. While working on the project, Jet met songwriter and producer Kenny Laguna, who was hired by Toby Mammoth to help Jet with writing some tracks for the film. They became friends and decided to work together. Jet relocated to Long Beach, New York, where Laguna was based. The plug was pulled on the project halfway through shooting after Jet fell ill, but in 1984, after she became famous, producers looked for a way to use the footage from the incomplete film. Parts of the original footage of Jet were eventually used in another project, an underground film called Dubit Eo, which was produced by Alan Sachs but not commercially released. Jet and Laguna entered the Who's Ramport Studios with the latter at the helm, and Jet's self titled solo debut was released by Areola Records in Europe on May 17, 1980. In the U.S., after the album was rejected by 23 major labels, Jet and Laguna released it independently on their new Blackheart Records label, which they started with Laguna's daughter's college savings. Laguna remembers, we couldn't think of anything else to do but print up records ourselves. Topic Joan Jet and the Blackhearts with Laguna's assistance, Jet formed the Blackhearts. Laguna recounted, I told Joni to forget the band and support herself on the advance money. There was enough for her but not for a band. She said she had to have a band. And I believe to this day that it was the Blackhearts, that concept, that made Joan Jett. She placed an ad in the LA Weekly stating that she was looking for three good men. John Doe of X sat in on bass for the auditions held at SIR Studios in Los Angeles. He mentioned a local bass player, Gary Ryan, who had recently been crashing on his couch. Ryan was born Gary Moss, and adopted his stage name upon joining the Blackhearts in 1979, in part to cover for the fact that he was only 15 at the time. Ryan was part of the Los Angeles punk scene and had played bass with local artists Top Jimmy and Rick L. Rick. He had been a fan of the Runaways and Jet for years. Jet recognized him at the audition and he was in. Ryan in turn recommended guitarist Eric Amble, who was also at the time part of Rick L. Rick. The final addition to the original Blackhearts was drummer Danny Furious O'Brien, formerly of the San Francisco band The Avengers. This lineup played several gigs at the Golden Bear, in Huntington Beach, California and the Whiskey A Go Go in Hollywood before embarking on their first European tour, which consisted of an extensive tour of the Netherlands and a few key shows in England, including the Marquis in London. Laguna fired O'Brien at the end of the tour, and upon returning to the States, Jet, Ryan, and Amble moved to Long Beach, New York. Auditions were set up and Lee Crystal, formerly of The Boyfriends and Sylvain Sylvain, became the new drummer. The band then toured throughout the U.S., slowly building a fan base but struggling to remain financially afloat. Throughout 1980, the band was able to keep touring solely due to Laguna drawing on advances from outside projects. Jet and Laguna used their personal savings to press copies of the Joan Jet album and set up their own system of distribution, sometimes selling the albums out of the trunk of Laguna's Cadillac at the end of each concert. Laguna was unable to keep up with demand for the album. Eventually, old friend and founder of Casablanca Records, Neil Bogart, made a joint venture with Laguna and signed Jet to his new label, Boardwalk Records, and re released the Joan Jet album as Bad Reputation. A spring 1981 concert at the Palladium in New York City proved to be a turning point. Described by music journalists as a career-defining performance by Jet, it helped solidify a strong New York following for Joan Jet and the Blackhearts. After a year of touring and recording, the Blackhearts recorded a new album entitled I Love Rock and Roll for the label. Amble was replaced by local guitarist Ricky Bird during the recording. Bird recalled in an interview with Guitar Who, One day I went to a studio to jam around a bit with Jet and everything clicked. 
The first single from the album was a cover of the title track, I Love Rock and Roll, originally written and recorded by Arrows, which in the first half of 1982 was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks in a row. It is Billboard's number 56 song of all time and has also been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2016. Jet released album 1983 and Glorious Results of a Misspent Youth 1984. A string of top 40 hits followed, as well as sell-out tours with The Police, Queen, and Aerosmith, among others. She was among the first English-speaking rock acts to appear in Panama and the Dominican Republic. After receiving her own MTV New Year's Eve special, Jet beat out a number of contenders to appear in the movie Light of Day with Michael J. Fox. Bruce Springsteen wrote the song Light of Day especially for the movie, and her performance was critically acclaimed. It was about this time that Ryan and Crystal left the Blackhearts. They were soon replaced by Thami Price and Chasm Sultan. Later that year, Jet released Good Music, which featured appearances by the Beach Boys, the Sugarhill Gang and singer Darlene Love. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts became the first rock band to perform a series of shows at the Lunt Fontan Theatre on Broadway, breaking the record at the time for the fastest ticket sell-out. Her next release, Up Your Alley, went multi-platinum. This album contains the single I Hate Myself for Loving You, which peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and had been used as the theme song for Sunday Night Football NFL games in America with altered lyrics, by two singers during the 2006 and 2007 seasons. This was followed by The Hit List, which was an album consisting of cover songs. During this time, Jet Co. wrote the song House of Fire, which appeared on Alice Cooper's 1989 album Trash. In 1990, the band had a song on the Days of Thunder soundtrack, Long Live the Night, written by Jet with Randy Cantor and Michael Caruso. Her 1991 release Notorious, which featured the replacements Paul Westerberg and former Billy Idol bass player Phil Fight, was the last with Sony, CBS as Jet switched to Warner Brothers. A CD single of Let's Do It featuring Jet and Westerberg was also released during this time, and appeared in the song credits for the movie Tank Girl. In 1993, Jet and Laguna released Flashback, a compilation of various songs on their own Blackheart records. Jet produced several bands prior to releasing her debut, and her label Blackheart Records released recordings from varied artists such as thrash metal band Metal Church and rapper Big Daddy Kane. The press touted Jet as the godmother of punk and the original Riot GRRRL. In 1994, the Blackhearts released the well-received Pure and Simple, which featured tracks written with babes in Toyland's Cat Bjelland, L7's Danita Sparks and Bikini Kill's Kathleen Hanna. Jet has also been described as the queen of rock and roll. Topic: Timeline with the Blackhearts. Topic ongoing work Jet returned to producing for the band Circus Lupus in 1992 and again, in 1994, for Bikini Kill. This recording was the new Radio Plus 2 vinyl 7-inch EP for which she also played and sang backup vocals. The Riot GRRRL movement started in the 1990s, with Bikini Kill as a representative band, and many of these women credited Jet as a role model and inspiration. In 1997, Jet was featured on the We Will Fall, the Iggy Pop tribute album. She performed a cover of the Johnny O'Keefe song, Wild One, or Real Wild Child. Jet worked with members of the punk rock band The Gits, whose lead singer and lyricist, Mia Zapata, had been raped and murdered in 1993. The results of their collaboration was a live album, Evil Stig and a single, Bob, whose earnings were contributed to the investigation of Zapata's murder. To this end, the band and Jet appeared on the television show America's Most Wanted, appealing to the public for information. The case was solved in 2004, when Zapata's murderer, Jesus Mezquia, was brought to trial and convicted. Jet is a guest artist on Marky Ramon and the Intruder's 1999 album The Answer to Your Problems? On the track, Don't Blame Me.
She is a guest vocalist on Peach's album Impeach My Bush on the tracks Boys Wanna Be Her and You Love It. At an October 2001 9-11 benefit in Red Bank, New Jersey, Jet and Springsteen appeared together on stage for the first time and played Light of Day. In 2004, Jet and Laguna produced the album No Apologies by the pop-punk band The Eyeliners, after signing them. Jet also guested on the track Destroy and made a cameo appearance in its music video. In 2005, Jet and Laguna signed punk rockers The Vacancies and produced their second album, A Beat Missing or A Silence Added, reaching the top 20 in CMJ music charts, and their third album in 2007, Tantrum. That same year, she was recruited by Stephen Van Zant to host her own radio show on Van Zant's underground garage radio channel on Sirius Satellite Radio. She hosted a four-hour show titled Joan Jett's Radio Revolution, broadcast every Saturday and Sunday. The program moved from Sirius 25 underground garage to Sirius 28 shortly before being cancelled in June 2008. In 2005, Jet and Laguna celebrated the 25th anniversary of Blackheart Records with a sellout show at Manhattan's Webster Hall. In June 2006, Jet released her album Sinner, on Blackheart Records. To support the album, the band appeared on the 2006 Warped Tour and on a Fall 2006 tour with Eagles of Death Metal. Various other bands such as Antigone Rising, Valiant Thor, The Vacancies, Throw Rag and Riverboat Gamblers were to have joined the tour for a handful of dates each. Jet sang a duet with Chase Knowles on Tear Stained Letters, a song on the Heart Attacks 2006 album, Hellbound and Heartless. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts headlined the Albuquerque New Mexico Freedom Fourth Celebration on July 4, 2007, with an estimated crowd of 65,000 in attendance at the annual outdoor event. In November 2007, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared with Motorhead and Alice Cooper in a UK arena tour. Jett opened eight American shows on Aerosmith's 2007 World Tour. Following the Dave Clark Five's induction to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, on March 10, 2008, Jet, as part of the ceremony, closed the program with a performance of the Dave Clark Five's 1964 hit Bits and Pieces. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared on several dates of the True Colors tour in the summer of 2008. She opened for Def Leppard in August. On November 19, 2009, Mattel released a Joan Jett Barbie doll. Her name and likeness was used with her permission. In June 2010, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts opened for Green Day on their UK tour alongside acts such as Frank Turner and Paramore. The band was the opening act for Aerosmith's September 2010 Canadian tour. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were part of the lineup for the Falls Music and Arts Festival, December 29 through January 1, 2010. In Australia, Jett was an executive producer for the film The Runaways, which chronicled the Runaways' career. It was written and directed by Floria Sigismundi, who has directed videos for Marilyn Manson, The White Stripes, and David Bowie. Production of the movie began filming around Twilight's Kristen Stewart's filming schedule, i.e. of the sequels New Moon and Eclipse. Stewart played Jet in the film. In order to prepare for the role, Stewart met Jet around the 08-09 New Year. In an interview, Stewart revealed that she hoped to be able to sing some songs in the film. The film explores the relationship between Jet and Runaway's lead singer, Cherie Curry, played by Dakota Fanning, and premiered at the 2010 Sundance Film Festival on January 24, 2010. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared at the 2010 Sundance Film Festival, at Harry O's, for the Runaway's promotion, which was also attended by Stewart and Dakota Fanning. March 2010 saw the release of a two-CD Greatest Hits album with four newly re-recorded songs. March 2010 also saw the release of a hardcover biography and picture book, spanning her career from the runaways to the present day. Jet, along with the Blackhearts, released the album Unvarnished on September 30, 2013. The album reached Billboard's Top 50. It included songs dealing with the death of her parents and other people. August 1 was declared Joan Jett Day in West Hollywood.
She was named West Hollywood's rock legend. Former Blackhearts drummer Lee Crystal, born Lee Jamie Sackett in 1956 in Brooklyn, New York, died from complications of multiple sclerosis on November 5, 2013, at the age of 57. Jet starred in and was the executive producer of the film Undateable John, which was released in 2014. In April 2014, Jet fronted the remaining members of Nirvana for a performance of Smells Like Teen Spirit for their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She joined the band again later that night for its surprise concert at St. Vitus. In April 2014, Jet was the first woman to win the Golden God Award. Former bandmates Cherie Curry and Lita Ford came and supported her. On April 24, 2014, Alternative Press magazine held its first ever Alternative Press Music Awards, and Jet received the AP Icon Award. On July 12, 2014, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts performed at Tropicana Field after the baseball game in St. Petersburg, Florida. On October 29, 2014, Jett sang the U.S. National Anthem at the New York Knicks vs. the Chicago Bulls basketball game. Jett and Hot Topic released Jett's first clothing line in 2014. It consists of jackets, shirts, pants, and a sweater. On April 15, 2015, Jet and the Blackhearts opened for The Who, kicking off their The Who Hits 50 2015 North American tour in Tampa, Florida. The Blackhearts opened for The Who for 42 dates in the U.S. and Canada, ending November 4 in Philadelphia. On July 4, 2015, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were part of the Foo Fighters' 20th anniversary show at the RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. In September 2018, Jett signed a music distribution deal with Sony Music's Legacy Recordings, making her catalog officially available for streaming. Topic. Other work. Jet is a sports fan and has remained actively involved in the sports world. Bad reputation was used by Ultimate Fighting Championships women's bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey as her walkout song at the pay-per-view event UFC 157 and as her current theme music in WWE. In April 2019, Jet performed Bad Reputation at WWE's WrestleMania 35 as Rousey was introduced. Her cover of Love Is All Around, the theme song of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, was used by the NCAA to promote the women's Final Four, as well as the song Unfinished Business, which was never commercially released. Love Is All Around went into radio play and became the number one requested song without an existing support CD. Jet supplied theme songs for the ESPN X Games premiere and has contributed music to all their games since. At Cal Ripken Jr.'s request, she sang the U.S. National Anthem, at the Baltimore Orioles game in which he tied Lou Gehrig's record for consecutive games played. She also sang the National Anthem at the final game played at Memorial Stadium. Until the 2016 season, the melody for her song, I Hate Myself for Loving You was used as the theme music for NBC Sunday Night Football with reworked lyrics and retitled, Waiting All Day for Sunday Night. Jet has also been a consistent supporter of the United States Armed Forces, throughout her career and has toured for the United Service Organizations for over 20 years, and even performed at the United States Military Academy. Topic. Satire and tributes In 1983, musical satirist, Weird Al Yankovic released a parody of I Love Rock and Roll, entitled I Love Rocky Road, changing the singer's passion for rock music with that for ice cream. The comic strip Bloom County included a character named Tess Turbo, her band was the Blackheads. Topic film, stage and television appearances Jet's first appearance on film is in the 1981 live concert film Ock. A Music War, performing Bad Reputation with the Blackhearts at the Ritz in New York City. She made her acting debut in 1987, co-starring with Jenna Rollins and Michael J. Fox in the Paul Schrader film Light of Day. 
She appeared in independent films, including The Sweet Life and Boogie Boy. In 1997, she appeared on the sitcom Ellen, in the episode Hello Mudda, Hello Fada, performing the title song. In 1992, she was a guest star in Free Fall, a first season episode of TV's Highlander. The series, the 1999 series Freaks and Geeks, used the song Bad Reputation as the opening theme. In 2000, Jet appeared in the Broadway production of the Rocky Horror Show in the role of Columbia. That same year, Jet appeared on Walker, Texas Ranger as an ex CIA agent turned assassin hired to kill Walker and Alex. In 2002, Jet appeared in the film by hook or by crook in the role of news interviewee. From 2000 to 2003, Jet hosted a showcase of new film and video shorts, Independent Eye, for Maryland Public Television. In 2004, Jet narrated a short film, Godly Boyish, about two teenagers who share suicidal fantasies. In 2008, Jet made a cameo appearance in Darren Lynn Bisman's rock opera, File Repo. The genetic opera as the guitarist in Shiloh's room during the piece, 17. Also in 2008, she appeared in the Law and Order, Criminal Intent episode, Reunion, as a rock and roll talk show host who gets murdered. Jet played Betsy Neal in the film Big Driver. The film, based on Stephen King's novella of the same name, premiered on Lifetime on October 18, 2014. Jet provided the voice for the character Sunshine Justice in an episode of Steven Universe. Jet was the subject of a documentary, Bad Reputation, which was released in theaters and streaming on September 28, 2018. Topic: Personal life. Jet has consistently refused either to confirm or deny rumors that she is lesbian or bisexual. In a 1994 interview with Out Magazine she said, I'm not saying no, I'm not saying yes, I'm saying believe what you want. Assume a way. Go ahead. In 2006, she also addressed the rumors that she is an open lesbian by saying, I never made any kind of statement about my personal life on any level. I never made any proclamations. So I don't know where people are getting that from." Jet supported Howard Dean in the 2004 election because of his opposition to the Iraq War. She has been a vegetarian for over 20 years and supports both PETA and Farm Sanctuary. Jet first became a vegetarian because of her love of animals. After making the switch to vegetarianism, Jet learned of the environmental impacts of intensive animal farming, and became an advocate for vegetarian and vegan living. She has worked closely with PETA, including outreach projects such as handing out vegetarian starter kits to the public. <laughs> Topic. Awards and honors Long Island Music Hall of Fame, Class of 2006. Rolling Stone 100 Greatest Guitarists of All Time, No. 87. Gibson manufactured a signature model of her Melody Maker, a white double cutaway with a zebra humbucker and kill toggle switch. Jet bought her guitar from Eric Carmen following the breakup of the Raspberries. 2012 Nancy Alexander Activist Award for her work on behalf of animal welfare. 2013 Named and awarded West Hollywood's Rock Legend. 2014 AP Icon Award. 2014 Golden God Award. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, Class of 2015. Topic: Discography. Joan Jett 1980, re-released as Bad Reputation 1981, Solo I Love Rock and Roll 1981, Album 1983, Glorious Results of a Misspent Youth 1984, Good Music 1986, Up Your Alley 1988, The Hit List 1990, Solo Notorious 1991, Pure and Simple 1994 
Naked 2004 Sinner 2006 Unvarnished 2013 equals equals filmography